Yo, what's up, guys? Keep me chill here, and welcome to part two of the Nintendo Live Nintendo Re Nintendo Direct reaction. Uh, sorry if this is late. I've had to do some stuff, but today we're gonna be reacting it to a second the part two since I part one I had to do something, but today we'll be doing doing part two. So yeah. Uh, if you guys haven't saw the first one, make sure to go check that out, because this will contain a lot of spoilers, such as this screen right now, um, and th the thing I'm about to talk about. So let's get back to it. Back to it. So last time we saw that apparently Kirby got announced, Mario Party Superstar is is talked about, and apparently the final Fire Pass Fighter will be released, I believe October 8th, and I am so excited about that. And we're not even done with it. So yeah, let's continue. So I saw half of this. This looks like this looks really good. I can't lie. I know one of my friends is a big Kirby fan, so this be he's just he's probably really excited about this. And reroll, which looks so cool. Kirby in a Forgotten Island. Or oh, Forgotten Land. I'm excited. In spring! Wow. That was the trailer for Kirby and the Forgotten Land. Sakurai's gonna be happy about that. He's a big. Uh, in this new game, you Kirby can fan. freely move around in 3D areas using familiar Kirby moves. The setting also appears to be mysterious, filled with abandoned structures from a past civilization. What lies in store for Kirby? The game is scheduled to release in spring 2022. I'm cool with that, honestly. We hope you'll look forward to Kirby's new adventure. I'm so excited, man. That's gonna be so fun. Next, we have this to show you. Also, my cousin's Please a big Kirby a fan, so I know he's excited about that. What's the announcement? Animal Crossing? I, I heard that. I heard the blathers. Right now, I'm actually am playing Animal Crossing. The Roost. Open 24-7. Okay. What is this? Airing in October. Oh! An Animal Crossing Direct. Oh, that's sick! So it's the Animal Crossing Direct. Since its launch in 2020, the Animal Crossing New Horizons game has been enjoyed by many players around the world. Including myself, honestly. New free content will arrive in November. I don't remember his name, but in I think he sells coffee. In preparation for its release, we will be airing an Animal Crossing New Horizons Direct in October. Wow, that is cool. In it, we'll go over the content in more detail. Please be on the lookout for the air date of this presentation. Let's move on to more Nintendo Switch headlines. Alright, I'm down with it. Let's get it. Two games, one game update, and lots of fun. Two games. Four. More oh yeah, this is game. Coming to the Mario Golf I haven't Super gotten Rush this game, game. It's, but I hear a lot of people say it's really fun. Koopa Troopa enters the fairway as a playable oh, character. cool. My friend uh, Zini's favorite shots character is and Koopa Troopa. That's to mess cool. with the competition. Ninji will also oh. be playable. Ninji? Take advantage of Ninji's blinding speed to oh, outpace the That's unexpected. Ninji from uh, 3 World? Two courses are also being added. I think, yeah, World. Yeah, I think. That's really cool, though. These additions will come swinging in as a free software update later today. Nintendo always kills it with... What's this? Disney? An invitation. Wait. You're invited to live in a magical world with Mickey Mouse and dozens of Disney characters. What? Can we have Flora, then? <laughs> Spend time with For Disney Smash? friends. <laughs> Craft your own whimsical Dude, costumes can we and have furniture, Swords and, and explore delightful Disney-themed worlds. Oh, All downloadable content from the original Nintendo 3DS version is included. Disney Magical World 2 Enchanted Edition soars onto Nintendo Switch this hey, holiday. Hey, Disney fans will be cool with that. That'd be funny, though, Star imagine. Wars game is Flora coming is to last Nintendo Switch. Blast Disney. off to captivating planets and join forces with Jedi droids and outcasts in this blend of action role playing and adventure will you use the force for good or will you be lured to the dark side your choices determine the, the galaxy's the fate fight. in star wars With knights the of the old republic oh, launching on nintendo switch november 11th pre-orders begin today on nintendo eShop. okay i'm cool with that 
There's one thing you must always remember. Stay human. Hey. This is the city. Humanity's last stronghold against a virus that turns people into the undead. It better not be the, the virus. I think it is. Dying oh, okay. Light 2, Dying stay Light human. Two. You'll need to master <laughs> both parkour and tactical combat to survive in this brutal open world action RPG. Explore alone or with up to three other players in online co op as you unravel the dark secrets of those in power during the day. Then plunder the layers of the infected at night. Your decisions will shape the story but they'll also have consequences. No matter where your actions lead you, there's one thing you must always remember. Stay human. While you're at it, okay. take the prequel on the go in Dying Light Platinum Edition. Scavenge for supplies, craft weapons, and face hordes of the infected in a post-apocalyptic open world. Dying Light 2 Stay Human Cloud Version February launches 4th. on Nintendo Switch February 4th, 2022. A free demo will also launch the same day on Nintendo eShop. Dying Light Platinum Edition October. comes to Nintendo Makes Switch sense like October the, 19th. Uh, Pre-orders begin today on Nintendo eShop. Cool. Utility, Morality, or Liberty? In Triangle Strategy, a fiery chronicle of war presented in stunning HD 2D. You know what this is also? This theme reminds you of. Your actions will lead this you through a of, riveting uh, story Fireball. and changes based Fireball, on the decisions you make. Kid, I saw in the end, like a little gameplay of Fireball. Where will your conviction kind of guide that vibe. You have gone to the one place I cannot follow. In response to the survey about the demo released in February of this year, the game has been fine-tuned with a focus on elements that received lots of feedback. But yeah, by the way, if These you guys are curious about to uh, the difficulty, a funky mod, improvements to um, I will switch that probably to camera angle controls. Curious. I know that's like off topic, but the ability to yeah. review previous dialogue and streamlined game flow and loading times. More details are now available on Nintendo.com. Splendid. Triangle Strategy will launch on Nintendo Switch March 4th, 2022. Pre-orders begin today on I'm Nintendo sure. eShop. That's just my of Fire Emblem, that's all. Uh, oh, Dread, Metroid Dread. I'm excited for this game. This game looks so cool. You are faced with overwhelming power. Your highest priority it should be simply to survive. Ooh. Look at that, that is so cool. I just still can't believe we got a Metroid game, like, that is crazy. There may be a very small opportunity to escape. Don't let your guard down. Oh, the upgrades maybe? That's cool. And I think that's the classic battle armor. That's cool. Probably a possible costume, maybe. It's like a sort of robotic, like, thing. Normally, Santa will be, like, about aliens and all Samus that stuff. Aaron, the most powerful bounty hunter in the galaxy, embarks on a new mission to the uncharted planet ZDR. I better shut my mouth, then. <laughs> objectives? Confirm whether the deadly X-Parasite still exists, and figure out why the Emmy research robots in search of it have mysteriously gone dark. Early readings reveal that planet ZDR is divided into multiple environments. Wow, so there are lots of its own elements explore. and organisms. Remnants of the mighty Chozo civilization are also scattered throughout, including evidence that the Chozo may have once called the planet their home. Visit metroid.nintendo.com to read Metroid Dread Report Volume 8 for a detailed account of the terrain and life forms you may encounter in the Metroid Dread game. Jeez. Be sure to view the other Metroid Dread reports there as well. You'll want to prepare yourself for the dangers that lie ahead. So it's like a little tip. It looks like a tip. Dread maybe. launches on Nintendo Switch cool. October 8th. 
Pre-orders are available now that on Nintendo so cool. eShop. How was that? That is really good. Honestly. Up next, we have news about Nintendo Switch Online. <gasps> oh. Your Many boy's been playing been a little bit of NES Nintendo lately. Yeah, Online yeah. since it launched in September 2018. In addition to the current membership, we'll be adding a new membership plan. Really? As a part of this new plan's content. Oh! Ocarina of Time! You'll be able to play a collection of Nintendo 64 games. Yoshi. Okay. Wait. The Nintendo 64 system launched 25 years ago. I think this system gave many players their first 3D Wait. gaming experiences, as well Mario as Kart 64. Yo, that's sick. Action. I really want to play Mario Kart With Nintendo that is Switch, sick. up to four Mario people Tennis? can play select Dude. Nintendo 64 games locally or online. This is so cool. Also, with this new membership plan, in addition to the Nintendo 64 games. A Sega Genesis? What? You can play a collection of games from Sega's Genesis system. Shut up. What? This Wait. means you'll be able to play these classic games whenever and wherever you'd like. Wow, that's crazy. The new plan will include all elements of the base Nintendo Switch online membership, as well as the ability to play the included Nintendo 64 and Genesis games. Dude, that is amazing. This is Honestly. Nintendo Switch Online Plus Expansion Pack. This new membership plan will be added in late October. Okay. Of course, you'll still be able to continue using the existing plans. Also, those who have an existing membership plan can change over to the new plan. That's good, honestly. We'll share more details about this new membership plan at a later time, including the exact release date and pricing information. I was gonna say, how much is For it now, though? However, it probably cost we'd like a lot, to announce but... the games that will be dang, available when it crazy. launches. Mario Kart 64, Mario Tennis, the Nintendo 64 games shown here, Ocarina of Time, Yoshi Story, as well as these Genesis games. The second Sonic game. We'll also continue adding more uh, Nintendo 64 games such as The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask oh, that's and cool. F-Zero X and as well as other Nintendo 64 and Genesis Mario games Golf, going Mario Golf, Pokemon forward. Snap, oh, that's Paper Mario, Banjo-Kazooie, what? Furthermore, we've prepared oh, Nintendo 64 and Genesis I'm... controllers to ensure Dude, the games Banjo can be Kazooie played be with so the same hyped. style of controls from their original oh, releases. Oh my god, this is, yo, this both can be used wirelessly. These controllers will be available so for purchase clean, by dude. any Nintendo oh Switch Online member. Dude, that Banjo Kazooie one, everyone's gonna be playing that joke. We hope you'll look honestly. forward to this new membership plan. And I'm, I'm, I'm honestly my play honestly, because Banjo Kazooie, I always app. wonder why people really love Banjo Kazooie. And Let's see a few more honestly, Nintendo Switch headlines. I can see why people are excited. Well, I'm excited. That's pretty cool. There's plenty to play in these collections. Cyberpunk meets Shadow Fantasy in this three-game collection of cult classic RPGs. As a Shadowrunner mercenary, you'll explore a dystopian future where magic has reawakened and fantasy creatures have come back to life. Immersive branching narratives, skill-based character growth, and gripping turn-based tactical combat await in Shadowrun Trilogy, launching on Nintendo Switch next year. Next year, oh, okay. The perpetual struggle against Count Dracula Castlevania. continues. Castlevania Advance Collection brings Consider together me, four um, classic Castlevania games with deathly excited. beautiful not, graphics. I mean, and I'm not into like Castlevania like that, but the rewind, quick cool. save, and button mapping features will also vamp up or ramp up oh, your fight like, against um, evil. All online. regional versions of each game, online, as well know. as a gallery mode with never before seen artwork, I know. are included. Castlevania Advance Collection launches on Nintendo Switch later today. An almighty classic returns. Not familiar with this. Mate, whoa. Nah, not familiar. The classic Super Still NES more. game ActRaiser returns on Nintendo Switch, now remastered in HD. As the Lord of Impressive. Light and Almighty God, Never, I, only you can well, save mankind I'm, maybe I heard from the forces of, it. I don't of Tanzra, know. The, name the Lord of Dark. Familiar. You'll wage war in two bit. phases, 
First, strike down monsters in the side-scrolling action phase to liberate the lands from the grasp of evil. Master swordsmanship and magic to vanquish all who stand in your path. Then, cultivate the lands you've liberated in the world-building creation phase. It's up to you to decide which structures will be destroyed to make way for new ones, creating a flourishing civilization. As you do so, your powers will increase, giving you new phases. Oh. Alternate between the original alive, right? and rearranged versions of the beloved it. soundtrack and enjoy brand new music. New stages and new boss battles also await. Act Razor Renaissance descends onto Nintendo Switch later today. And later today. Please. A new chapter um. is about to unfold. Ah, I was gonna call it. Is it chapter two? What it's called? Delta Run Chapter 2? Yeah, I figure. I heard a lot of people play this. I saw Yub play it, honestly. That is crazy. That is crazy. It, I figure it's in... Um... What's his, what's his name? Uh, Nintendo released Undertale. Like... I think it was 2018 when Smash Bros. got announced. So... I kind of... I wouldn't be surprised, honestly, if this got announced. Yeah, a lot of Delta Run fans. Very excited about this. I never played it, honestly, uh, Undertale. Yes, you can hate me. I never played Undertale. Chapter 1 and 2? Wow. That is cool. Is that all? Oh, it's like a little mini cap. Okay. We got Hot Wheels. I remember used to mess with Hot Wheels back in, uh, when I was little. Surviving the aftermath. Sega America. Interesting. Rex. <laughs> Rex. Rex. Rexus. That reminds me of, uh. Huh. That's cool. Maybe I might do that. That. Dude. Which game's it? Stay tuned for Switch games, y'all, because there's going to be a lot of games popping up How's on y'all recommendations. There are still a few more announcements in today's Nintendo Direct. All right. Koizumi-san. Oh, Miyamoto-san. Hey! What brings you in? I wanted to make an announcement, so I was hoping I could step in. And oh, Mario. of course. Hi, everyone. I'm Shigeru Miyamoto. I'm in a little bit. We've honestly. previously announced that I have been working with the Hollywood movie studio Illumination yes, and its thank CEO you for and mentioning producer, this. Chris Melodondri. Oh my god, thank you for mentioning this. Known for I was going to talk like about this a couple of days ago, but... In making a full-length animated Mario movie for the big yes. screen. Yes, oh my god, I'm so excited Today, I wanted to announce its theatrical release timing. I will talk about that in a video. Holiday 2022? The movie will be released oh my in theaters god. on Holiday 2022. Jeez, that is be the release wild. date for North America is on December 21st, and we'll be announcing release dates oh for my. Japan, Europe, and other regions at a my later time. God, that is It'll be a while. while longer until we can share a glimpse of Mario in action on the big screen. Yeah, but today, that... I also wanted to reveal Dude. our key cast members who will be voicing Mario right, go and ahead. his friends I, in the my, movie. I, okay. Okay, so our... Fun fact, at, literally after I recorded the first part, my sister told me who voiced the characters, so... I'll be, I'll be signing for you guys if you guys don't know who plays what. First, of course, is Mario, who will be played by Chris Pratt. He's so cool. Mario will be talking a lot in the movie. Please look forward to Mario as a good actor. By the very talented <laughs> I don't know Chris much about Chris Pratt, but yeah. Next, Princess Peach will be played by Anya Taylor Joy. I did hear her. I can't before. wait to see a very spirited Princess Peach. Mario's little brother, Luigi, will be played by Charlie Day. I'm excited for you to see this timid sibling appear on screen. Bowser oh, will be played by the one and only Jack Okay. Black. Okay, I, I know I did I know I'm gonna, I was gonna say I'd be fine, but I can't believe Jack Black to be voiced by Bowser. Dude, that is crazy. Jack Black himself is voicing Bowser. Really hope he does well, honestly. I'm expecting a monster performance by Jackson. The comedian Keegan Michael Key will be playing Toad. I'm looking forward to great comedic moments. 
Even though this is a Mario movie, Donkey Kong will also be making an appearance. He will be played by Seth Rogen. I did hear Seth Rogen before.、I'm、he is a good. You to see a he, he, I, I love Seth Rogen. Seth, Rogen Seth Rogen's hilarious. And of course, Charles Martinet, who has voiced Mario and many more Nintendo characters in our games over the years, is also involved, and will be appearing in surprise cameos in the movie. Okay. We also have more incredible、Ooh. talent joining the film to play、Ooh. some of our other beloved characters. Okay, I never, I didn't see these three before. Sebastian Maniscalco is voicing Spike. If you guys don't know who Spike is, he is the, he's from Wrecking Crew. Friend Armisen voicing Cranky, voicing Cranky Kong. That is crazy. So Cranky Kong is the appearance. And Kevin Michael Richardson, I did hear of him before. He is gonna be playing Kamek. That is, that is cool. Characters. That is all I can share with you today about the Mario movie. This is a very collaborative project between Illumination and Nintendo. We've all been coming up with all sorts of ideas, and I myself am enjoying a creative process that is a little bit different from making games. It may be a while until we can share more updates, but I hope you'll look forward to it. Koizumi-san, back to you. Dude, that is crazy. Please look forward to Mario's adventure jumping into the world of、I'm、motion pictures. I'm so excited pictures. for that, dude. I'll give my full thoughts. Next, we'd、Maybe、like to that, show、honestly. you this. Sci-fi movie. That movie's gonna be so cool. Splatoon three. Thank you. Oh my god, this could be this could be so cool. Oh my god, this is so sick. Oh, this looks so good, man. That's really wait. Well, I brought this back. I haven't played Splatoon in, in a hot minute, honestly. Maybe I should play it before the game really gets blasted through walls. Oh. Uh. Story mode. Storm mode gonna be insane. I love the storm mode in first and second game. So, hey, this Cali Murray. Going for a marina to come back. Whoa. Dude, I just can't believe it's happening. Splatoon three. I can't believe this is this. I. Mama aliens. I hope I'm saying it right. <laughs> Oh God! Hey. Hello, everyone. I'm a researcher from the Squid Research Lab. I'm Mario from Pointy. I've been meticulously studying the mysterious squids that can transform into humanoid form. What you just saw was the latest research footage from Splatoon 3. Allow me to share a bit of what we know so far. Splatoon 3 takes place in Splatsville. It's known as the city <laughs> of chaos. Centered around Splatsville are the Splatlands, a place long inhabited by advanced sea creatures such as squids and octopuses. Buildings spanning several generations are crammed into the city, creating its distinctive culture. In the Splatlands, turf war appears to be a popular activity. Its basic rules are unchanged. Get online. Two、yep. four-player teams compete against each other to ink the most. You want this all? However, I'm sorry, but the trend seems to have undergone a major shift with the existence of new main and special weapons. Oh my God! I'm not sure why this just gives me that vibe. In the latter portion of the footage, we were able to observe activities from story mode, the single-player campaign. 
Return of the Mammalians. Mami Meaning Mami the reappearance okay. of mammals okay. Again, appears to be right. the theme of story mode this time around. What could this possibly mean in a world where all mammals, except for two cats, have vanished? It appears that there's still a lot to uncover. But we'll continue with our research and keep you updated once more results become available. Go ahead. I am, I am so hyped for this. Please man. look forward to more. Splatoon 3. <laughs> Updates to come. See you next time. Appreciate it, bro. Got it? So, what did you think? I like Splatoon it. Splatoon 3, taking place in a new world, is scheduled to release in 2022. Wow, a lot of things to be released 2022, man. Please look forward to future uh. updates. <laughs> I cannot wait any longer. Okay, <laughs> this is the last trailer we have to show you today. I figure, Please yeah. Please take a look. What's gonna be, man? Kinda does really good stuff with Jurax. What is this? Nah, actual gameplay footage. Okay, call. I was gonna <laughs> say Call of Duty. Imagine. Dude, if that's Call of Duty. <laughs> Dude, that would be funny. What is it though? I see the Oh my god. Because What the heck? Um, what is this exactly? Bayonetta? Wait, what? Bad boy. Oh! Bayonetta? No. It seems I'm unfashionably Wait. late. Is this Bayonetta? But I'm ready to give you everything you want. I mean, it makes sense. Which powers? I think this is Leonetta. Dude, what the heck? Really interesting. Really interesting. I think I feared this to Call of Duty with Bayonetta, I just realized that. <laughs> Don't tell me you get to play that thing. Whoa, that is... that is... Really a bird? <laughs> This is crazy, man. Oh my god. We're a spider. We're, we're actually like a spider scorpion. Also. What the heck? Dude, this. Dude, Bayonetta 3. Oh, wow, that is crazy. I know a lot of ba Dude. I keep. I know a lot of people. Because I know a lot of people are like, oh. A lot of people wanted Bayonetta uh, 3. They got what they want, dude. Congrats. Honestly. That is crazy. And I don't even know Bayonetta like that. And she has a third game coming. That is... That is crazy.
What you just saw was the latest trailer for wow. Bayonetta 3. Consider me shocked. We announced honestly. this game in 2017, and we thank you for your patience. Oh wow, really? This Jeez. game will launch next year. Holy crap. <laughs> we hope you look forward to Bayonetta's like five new years? encounters. Wow. That's all for today's Nintendo Direct. Really good. Really good. Thank I you for impressed. watching. Nintendo does really good. Nintendo uh, surprises every day when it comes to like games, announcements, and all that stuff. That was really good, dude. Holy crap. There was so much to process. We got Bayonetta 3. We got a new Kirby game. We got some new NES stuff coming out. Dude, this... Like I said, stay tuned for more, uh, you're going to see a lot of videos popping up on my channel now with like, oh, Mario Kart, Fire and Funkin', NES games, and all that stuff. I'm excited for Banjo-Kazooie though, dude. Banjo-Kazooie is going to be so much fun. Because like I said, I I remember when Banjo-Kazooie was a fighter, I was like, how come people are like really excited or wanted Banjo-Kazooie? But a lot of people say it was because of the game. The game was, a lot of people say they Banj the Banjo Kazooie games were really good, and honestly, I really excited, really excited to see why people really like Banjo Kazooie. But yeah, it's basically it. There, I'm also excited for a lot of stuff, but I just don't have a good memory. But I am just so excited, man! I'm so excited for these uh, for the first two. I'm excited for that Mario movie. That Mario movie is gonna be so interesting. Seth Rogen, Jack Black, um, the the actors honestly are gonna kill it. Honestly, I'm really excited for that movie, uh, coming next year, I believe. So, yeah, uh, that's basically it, guys. That is uh the Nintendo Direct reaction. Let me know your thoughts. Personally, I think it was really good. Honestly, they released a lot of good stuff out of this. But uh, yeah, basically, guys, if you guys like this, make sure like make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.